Hello everyone, welcome back to my Oracle Apex tutorial series. In today's video, I am going to show you how to make your Apex application smarter with AI-powered suggestions. For this demo, you will need an AI API key. I've already explained how to integrate AI with Oracle Apex in one of my earlier videos, so if you haven't seen that yet, please check it out first. Now, let's jump into today's tutorial. Let's start by creating our category table. It has two columns. Category underscore ID an auto-generated primary key. Category underscore name, the name of the category, which cannot be empty. This table will store categories like electronics, grocery, and fashion. Now I'll create this table in my database. After creating the table, I'm now inserting some sample categories. Here you can see I've added electronics, grocery, fashion, furniture, and stationery. These will be used later when we link products to their categories. So now I'll insert these categories into the table. After that, I'll check the table to make sure the data has been stored correctly. Next, I am creating the product table. This table has product underscore ID as the primary key, product underscore name to store the product's name, category underscore ID to link with the category table, price for the product cost, and created underscore on to capture when the record was added. Here, the category underscore ID is a foreign key, so every product will be connected to one of the categories we created earlier. Now I will create the product table. Now I will create a form on top of the product table. This form will allow me to add, edit and manage products. Now we can see that the form is ready. Now I will convert the category field into a pop-up lab. For now, I'll hard code some category values here, so that I can quickly test the form and select a category from the dropdown. Here I set the love to show category name but store category ID. Now I will implement AI integration. When I type a product name, AI will automatically suggest the most relevant category. Next, I will create a dynamic action on the product name field. I am naming this dynamic action AI category suggestion for easy reference. Now, 
Now I'll select execute server side code as the true action. Here I'm declaring some variables. L underscore request and L underscore response will hold the API request and response. L underscore GPT underscore category will store the AI suggested category and L underscore category underscore list will keep the list of all categories from the database. Here I'm building a list of all category names from the product underscore category table. The loop goes through each category and adds it to a string separated by commas. Here I'm using Recrim to remove the last comma from the category list so the string stays clean. Now I'm building the GPT JSO request. Here I set the model to GPT 3.5 Turbo and open the messages array which will hold the prompt for AI. I'm sending the product name and category list to GPT and asking it to return the best matching category. Here I finished the JSO request, set the temperature to 0.5 for balanced AI output and store everything in the L underscore request variable. Here I am completing the headers by adding my OpenAI API key inside the authorization header. This key allows Apex to connect securely with the GPT API. Now I am calling the GPT API using Apex underscore web underscore service dot make underscore rest underscore request. If the call is successful, the response will be stored in L underscore response. And if there's any error, I'll capture it in P1 underscore GPT underscore raw and set the category ID to null. Here I'm parsing the GPT response. The suggested category is extracted from the JSO and stored in L underscore GPT underscore category. I also save it into P1 underscore GPT underscore raw for debugging and if parsing fails, I capture the error. Finally, I am matching the AI suggested category with the product underscore category table. If a match is found, I store its category ID into the form item. If no match is found, I set the category ID to null. Now my code is complete. Since I'm using this on page 25, I'll just replace all P1 items with P2. I've completed the code, but I noticed one item is missing in my form. In the code, I used p25 underscore gpt underscore raw to capture the raw AI response for debugging. Since this item doesn't exist on the form, I need to add it as a hidden field so the process works correctly.
I'll submit the product name and the process will return the category ID and GPT RAW. The category ID updates the form while GPT RAW is just for debugging. Now I'll do the final check. First, I'll enter a product name into the form. See, I typed laptop and the category is automatically suggested as electronics. See, I typed laptop and the category is automatically suggested as electronics. Now I typed rice and the category is suggested as grocery. That means the category is coming automatically based on the product name. So that's how we can use AI integration in Oracle Apex to automatically suggest a category based on the product name. This makes the form smarter, more user-friendly and reduces manual mistakes. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more Oracle Apex and AI tutorials. Thanks for watching and see you in the next session.